गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट आवर सेकंड लेक्चर ऑफ इन्वायरमेंटल स्टडीज एंड डिजास्टर मैनेजमेंट आवर टुडेज टॉपिक इज नेचुरल रिसोर्सेस सो दैट आर रेन रिन्यूएबल एंड नॉन रिन्यूएबल रिसोर्सेस सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इन दिस स्लाइड यू मैंट हैव ऑब्जर्व दैट हियर इट्स वन पिक्चर यू आर ऑब्जर्विंग एंड विच इंडिकेट्स देर आर द प्रजेंस ऑफ सेवरल थिंग्स so that we can called it as an natural resources so uh, if you look at uh, meaning of the resource that means uh, it is anything which is used to sustain our life it is called as resource so what is exactly mean by natural resources natural resources are resources that exist without any action of human kind so that they are present naturally so that are called as natural resources so <clears throat> how this natural resources exist so these are exist without action of human kinds so it includes all the valued characteristics say for example magnetic gravitational field electrical properties forces which are present on the earth that includes uh, sunlight atmosphere water land several minerals along with vegetation of crops animal life so all these things are called as natural resources that means these are the resources that exist without action of human kind they are present naturally so that they are called as natural resources so there are various ways of classification by which we can classify these natural resources there are various methods of categorizing natural resources it may include origin stage of development by their renewability uh, their nature there are several ways in today's lecture we will learn about what are the different classifications of the natural resources first res classification that we may call it as on the basis of origin from where they are originated whether they are biotic or abiotic whether they are living or non living so we can categorize natural resources on the basis of origin into two types so that is biotic resources and abiotic resources biotic resources which are obtained from the biosphere biosphere means living component of the organic material for example forests animals and these are the materials which are obtained from them for example fossil fuels coal petroleum that are also included in this category because they are formed from decayed to this organic matter abiotic resources means what abiotic resources are those resources that came from non living things that means in these are the non organic material for example abiotic resources that includes land fresh water air elements on the earth in this photograph you can clearly observe that what are the differences between these biotic resources and abiotic resources here in the biotic component you can just compare with these living things and non living things so here are the presence of plants animals bacteria fungi protists and in case of abiotic resources there are presence of water soil light minerals these are the this is the classification of the natural resources on the basis of its origin number second that is if we consider the stage of the development we can classify natural resources into four types first type that is a potential resource potential resource means what what you can observe onto this slide for example presence of uranium in the lata or high speed winds the potential resources are those that may be used for future but at present they are not using we are not using that kind of resources are called as potential resources another example is that petroleum in the sedimentary rock so until and unless we cannot drill it out we cannot utilize it so that resources are called as potential resources what is meant by actual resources the resources which are actually we are using 
for example words some technology words or the resources which are at present that are have been surveyed and quantitatively and qualified and these are currently in use so that resources are called as actual resources for example our fuel that is our actual resources use of electricity that is our actual resources reserve resources means what the part of an actual resource that can be developed profitably in the future so that it is called as reserve resources and what is meant by stock resources these are the resources that can be served that has been surveyed but at present we are not using that resources are called as stock resources that means they are remains in the stock here actual resources may be called as an reserve resources but the stock resources they are at present we are not using because of lack of technology now just look at the differences between potential resources and actual resources potential resources means what so a potential resource that are not being used currently but actual resources that is one which is we are using currently that is that are called as actual resources what is another difference a potential resource can prove useful and become an actual resource in the future for future time we may use that kind of resource but actual resource means what an actual resource might have been potential resource in the past and but they can they are presently they are used it may be end up in the future so that resources are called as actual resources what are the example of these potential resources that we already learned that is uranium deposit in the ladakh and what are what is the example of this actual resource that is example that is coal deposit what is another difference between potential resource and actual resource the entire quantity of potential resource may not be known because we didn't use it but in the case of this actual resources the quantity of an actual resource is known it may be known so that is the sec that was the second classification now the third classification that is classification of the resources on the basis of renewability so that is renewable resources and another one is that is non renewable resources renewable resources means what that are the one that can be replenished or that can be reproduced some of them like sunlight air wind so they they can be used again and again so that that resources are called as renewable resources non renewable resources means what so these are formed over a long geological period of the time that kind of resources are called as non renewable resources that may that resources if we'll use it so that may be depleted from the nature that resources are called as non renewable resources here in this photograph you can see that examples of renewable resources and non renewable resources sunlight forest energy so these are the examples of renewable resources and here are the examples of non renewable resources in this case you are observing so these are the these are ex examples of non renewable resources that cannot be renewed once they are used that means it is finished that resources are called as non renewable resources now the fourth classification that is classification on the basis of availability of the nature in the natural resources it can be categorized into two parts that is inexhaustible and another one that is exhaustible Ex inexhaustible means what so that these are the resources which are present in unlimited quantity if say for example the example of the sunlight this is sun and here you are utilizing sunlight energy so is is it going to exist is it going to exhaust no it will remain as such that kind of resources are called as inexhaustible resources for example air which is present that kind of air how much quantity of air you are utilizing it doesn't matter it is again going to form that kind of resources are called as inexhaustible resources but in the case of exhaustible resources the amount of these resources are very limited they can be exhausted by human activity if we will use in long term 
for example coal petroleum natural gases so these are the examples of inexhaustible resources uh, these are the examples of exhaustible resources Exo this is the difference between exhaustible resources and inexhaustible resources exhaustible resources these are resources which are present in limited amount inexhaustible so most of these resources are in endless supply that they, there is no end to supply for these resources exhaustible resources they can't easily replenished for example we are using the fuel so it is very difficult to replenish it reproduce it it requires several years of time but inexhaustible resources they can be easily replenished the examples that we learn about exhaustible resources are biomass geothermal energy these are the examples of exhaustible resources inexhaustible resources these are the natural gases minerals so ions so they are they can be converted from one form into another form so that's why these resources are inexhaustible resources if you look at this classification of the resources on the basis of distribution that is ubiquitous resources and localized resources in this photograph what we can see that here so these are the resources so these are the present everywhere water air these are the examples of ubiquitous resources they are present entirely on the earth surface that resources are called as ubiquitous resources but what about localized resources these are the examples of gold diamond these are the resources which are present in a limited area that resources are called as localized resources this was the classification on the basis of distribution of the resources next classification classification on the basis of source in this diagram in this photograph you can observe that what are the different resources for example water resources forest resources mineral resources marine resources if you just recall this uh, you may recall this uh, photograph you may clearly understand that what are the different kinds of resources next classification classification on the basis of chemical composition chemical composition means what that resources can be divided into three parts on the basis of chemical composition that is organic resources organic res inorganic resources and mixed resources in this diagram you may observe that so these are the examples of organic these are the examples of inorganic resources here are the few examples of organic and inorganic resources what are the problems which are associated with these natural resources if we will continually use this resources that will leads into the majorly food security food security we can categorize into the two parts food safety and food security food safety means what availability of the quality foods it is a scientific discipline which describes handling preparation storage of the food okay so that call that is related with the food safety and food security means what food security means that our population is growing day by day it will be our challenge how to cope up with the or to fulfill the demands of all the population that it is called as food security what are the main components of the food security that we will uh, discuss in more detail in our next few lectures but here try to understand that what are the main components of the food security first is availability whether we are having availability of the all the food resources or food resources accessibility stability and its utilization availability means what having sufficient quantity of appropriate food available accessibility means what having adequate income of other resources stability means what having a stable and continuous food resources and utilization means what having adequate dietary intake and ability to absorb all the nutrients in the body these are called as these are the main components of the food security and if we will continually use these resources what will be the impact in our agriculture so as we are observing each and every farmer for what purpose he is interesting to get more and more uh, yield from less amount of resources but we will continually use such kinds of practices what will happen with our agriculture 
due to this over utilization of the fertilizers due to the over increase in the population increase in the demand or to fulfill the demands of our growing population so there there is a use of tremendous use of fertilizers pesticides and several things which deteriorates the quality of the soil in more detail we'll discuss this point in our next few lecture there is, there is a separate lecture so this is all about our today's lecture uh, that is classification of the resources and uh, impact of this resources if will not use properly thank you very much uh, for observing or for watching this video clip thank you very much